So, who are we here with? Felix. Felix, bro. What's going on? How you feeling? Good. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good, bro. Are you from New York? Yeah, yeah, I'm from Brooklyn. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, bro. So, are you a music fan? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. 100%? Okay, cool. What's been in your rotation lately? Um, I mean, I mainly listen to rap. I do some, like, soul and jazz to find samples for my beats. But, I mean, right now, uh, Schoolboy Q, Blue Lips, great fucking album. Okay. Um, like, I know I might get clowned for this, but the Killer Mike album... Like that, that was pretty hard. I'm not gonna lie, I fucked with it. Um, let's see, I've been listening to a lot of JID, okay. uh, Denzel. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, and obviously Kendrick, you know, the beef and everything. But yeah, yeah. Do you think the Killer Mike album was better than Utopia? I honestly, I don't know. At first, I did not like Utopia. I'm not gonna lie. Like at first, I was not a big Travis Scott fan until I don't even know, like a few months ago. Like, it took me a while to get on. I thought I, it just had sounded annoying, and then I started fucking with it a lot more. Okay. So, honestly, now I think Utopia probably should have won, but back then, I was definitely like, yeah, yeah, Killer Mike got that shit, yeah. yeah. All right, cool, cool. All right, so, but I got a couple of questions for you, okay? Who do you think is the best artist of this generation, and why? Oh, Kendrick, 100%. 100%. I, I don't even like I don't know how anyone else can say something different I mean like the versatility like the meaning in the music the bars everything like it sounds amazing like the meaning is crazy like he fucking destroyed Drake every like man it's perfect I don't know how it could be anyone else awesome awesome okay what are your thoughts on the current state of hip hop in this direction I'm not gonna lie this is kind of a hot take but I hate electronic sounding shit I hate auto tune I think like I like a lot, like, more of the underground, like, soulful shit. Like, I don't really know any underground artists, but, like, sometimes I just put on, like, underground soulful playlists and, like, the boom bap stuff. Like, I fuck with that. I don't like, like, Uzi, like, like electric sounding, like, shit like that. I just, it sounds, it's not authentic, you know? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. What recent rap album do you think has the most impact and why? Ooh, shit, that's hard. Honestly... Impact on me or impact on like the state of hip hop? Either or. Alright, I'ma say I'ma say on me. Um how recent? Like five years, ten years? Whatever you consider recent. Whatever I consider recent. I'ma say I think Melt My Eyes See Your Future, Denzel Curry. It's a great fucking album. That's like I was like into producing like already. Then the first time I listened to that, I was like, Holy shit, I gotta learn how to sample better. Like this is crazy. And I mean like the the album as a concept album it's great too you know it's meaningful so you know i really like it i went to the, his concert at the blue note here in like september it was fire yeah do you think lyrical content in rap has improved or declined over the years i honestly think it depends on the subgenre. i think like i'm not a big fan of drill i think with that it probably has declined i think with like certain like subgenres of trap it has improved and others it has declined i think boom bap it probably has improved but it really depends on the subgenre and like the different like players in the in the industry, yeah. Okay. Let's say. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, boom. So we're gonna switch it up. All right, I got a couple other questions for you. One has to stay, one has to go. All right. And you can say why if you want to. Drake or Kendrick Lamar. Uh Drake's gone. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. I mean, I already said Kendrick's the best artist of this generation. I don't like Drake. I'm not gonna lie. First of all. Um, I just don't like him. I think he, he just sounds weird. He's pop. He's not rap, honestly. Like, I just I just don't like Drake. That's it. I love Kendrick. Yeah. Cool. All right, let me see. All right. Travis Scott or Playboy Cardi? Travis Scott stays. I, I like Travis Scott now. I still don't really like Playboy. It's okay. okay. Future or Young Thug? Ooh. I think Future stays. I think Future stays. I'm not a big fan of either of them, but I think Future, yeah. Kanye or Lil Wayne? Oh, Kanye says 100%. I love Kanye. Kanye was like my first favorite rapper. I listened to him, like only Kanye, for a whole year. And then I overplayed him, but, you know, that was a crazy voice cry. I overplayed him, but, you know, I fuck with Kanye. Yeah. X or Juice World? Shit, that's kind of hard. I don't know. I'm going to say X says. X says. Just going with my gut. Okay. I don't have a reason. Okay. Lil Durk or Meek Mill? I'm going to say probably Meek Mill. Meek Mill. Yeah. Okay. Lil Baby or Gunna? Gunna. Easy. Okay. Easy. Lil Uzi or 21 Savage? All right. This is hard because 
I actually think both of them are overrated. I don't like 21 Savage that much. I mean, he's good. I think some of his, like, rap schemes and, like, flows are a little, um, like, rhyme schemes that are a little basic, you know? But I'm going to say 21. I just like that style more. I don't like Uzi. But 21 is overrated, in my opinion. The weekend or party next door? Ooh. Shit. I think I think the weekend stays, but that is close. That's okay. close as fuck. Okay. That's close. Tory Lanez or Brent Fayez? Eh, Brent Fayez. Okay. Frank Ocean or Tyler the Creator? Ooh, that's a good one. I'm gonna say Tyler. The estate sale of uh, uh the estate sale was crazy. That was great. Yeah, Tyler. Okay. 